Hello and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Alright, into the storage room we go. The storage room is really dusty and dark. Wow. My hands were full of cleaning in the dining hall, so I couldn't even touch this room. It even has cobwebs. There's no way I could stay in here for a long time. Alright, what do we got? Okay, we've got some irons. Are these irons? Looks like they were recently turned on, but why are there three irons on this ironing board? Mm. Mm, just as I thought. Your eyes don't miss a thing. When I was looking for Biakor after the blackout, I found these irons, but all three of them were turned on. Turned on? Yep. It'd be bad if another blackout happened, so I turned them off, but doesn't this feel kind of sinister? Sinister. I am okay. Because I mean, at the moment, my working theory is blackout happens. Bayakua, for whatever reason, suspected something like that might happen, so he puts on his night vision goggles, goes over to the table where somebody, the murderer, has uh, coated the knife in you know, paint that allows them to find it in the dark. Pulls it out, Byakua sees what's happening, and tries to stop them, and ends up getting knifed. Which means it's most likely a target of opportunity, not one of motivation. Though, that's an initial working theory, there's, there's lots of bits and pieces that don't add up. Namely, why he wouldn't yell, you know, such and such has a knife, for example. It's always the problem with a uh, darkroom murder mystery. There's an awful lot of boxes. <laughs> oh, we don't have time to go through each and every one of them. Guess I should leave them alone. Yep. A wise decision. There's a huge piece of cloth randomly shoved in here. Perhaps. Is this a, a tablecloth? Tablecloth? Huh? Hold on, there's something on it. Blood stain. Huh? Uh -huh, a blood stain. Come here, take a closer look. What? It's too dark, I can't really see that clearly. There's no mistaking it, this is clearly a blood stain. Which means this tablecloth is connected to the murder. Right? Well. But if that tablecloth has a blood stain on it, then it's a possibility. Well, it is a blood stain. That could explain how somebody was able to how get themselves mean? cleaned up quickly. Why do you want me out of here? You're making me suspicious. But, so yeah, so if somebody had covered themselves in a tablecloth, then, then did the murdering, that would uh, protect them from the worst of the blood, blood splatter. It's not exactly subtle, though. For one thing, you'd end up looking like a clan member or a ghost. Seriously, that's still one of the stupidest designed costumes in all of history. Anyway. How much longer are you going to stay in this dark place? You're just wasting your time. Let's move on, investigate other places already. Hmm? Oh, I, I get it, you're right. Stacks of clean tablecloths. Looks like they haven't been used yet. Looks strange there. Ah, uh, that's everything in here. So why the hell would a help trip the circuit breaker? The three irons were plugged in to help trip the circuit breaker. The air comm was the thing that pushed it over the edge, but they were there for that reason. They have to have been. You got anything interesting to say, Ibuki? I Ibuki? see, I see. Apparently, a great man once said, investigation should be done on foot. Yes! So that's why I'm also using my feet. I'm just walking around for no particular reason. Well, if there's no reason, then there's no meaning. Hey. I just realized something. Could she know what happened during the blackout? Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Are you serious? How, how do you know? <laughs> so you did hear us. You know, Hiyami and I were talking pretty softly just now. <laughs> yeah, not only do I have a perfect face, style, and personality, I also have perfect ears. I see. If you're hearing so good, maybe you heard what happened during the blackout. Hey. 
and the blackout happened. You could hear everybody's voice through the dining hall, right? We couldn't tell you. You would have been able to make out who's who, right? Thinking about it, the first blow logically has to have been either to the neck or possibly the lungs. Unless the first blow hit him clean in the heart and killed him instantly, but that seems unlikely. You know, that, that's the kind of thing that takes either skill and training or luck. But, you know, the reason I'm saying that is that something has to have prevented him from going, ah, when he got stabbed. You know, so logically, hit to the neck, throat, that kind of area could have cut off his ability to scream. Hmm. We couldn't tell, but you would have been able to make out who's who, right? <laughs> Just leave it to a bookie. It'll be easy as fried rice with gravy. Huh? <laughs> I'll heartily eat it for breakfast. I see. I mean, like, it'll be easy as pie. Except eating fried rice with gravy for breakfast is kind of heavy. <laughs> Any fried rice that isn't fried rice with gravy is so wrong. <laughs> she should make a metaphor with more common type of fried rice, like egg fried rice or lettuce fried rice. Anyway, can you tell us what you heard? I got it! Leave it to me. I'm gonna take a bite out of you. Yep. You tell us, I'll let you bite Hayami later. Stop it. What if she takes you seriously? Aww. Let's see. The first person who raised their voice during the blackout was... Oh, that's right. It was Mahuri. Ugh, it's a blackout! Next, it was Kazuchi's voice. And the next was mine. Hey! I can't see anything! It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! Yeah, what a nice remark I made. It's to the point, has its own unique charm. Just continue. Then there were more voices, one after the other. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! That was somebody going past her. Either the murderer or Bayakua. What the hell? What's going on here? That's you. That's him coming across the murderer pulling out the knife and then getting stabbed. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Aren't I awesome? Praise me, praise me, give me lots of praise. I hear to you the first time. Seriously, don't get any closer. And you gotta say something to her. Did something happen? No, I was just thinking about what Bayakua said during the blackout. What he said? Hey. Why did he say something like that? Rather, why was he able to say that? What the hell? What's going on here? And th th this is? What do you mean? Hmm. Why don't we discuss it after we've investigated a little more? For now, I can't really say anything for certain. It's not like I really care. Yep. Anyway, do you think Ibuki's account is just an important clue that'll lead us to the truth? Yahoo! And praise me, let me bite ya! Ow! Ow! Why are you really biting me? Ibuki's account has been added to the truth bullet section. And the bathroom door is still locked. It's locked. Someone appears to be inside. Since it's a unisex bathroom, I don't know who's actually in there. Hey! Someone in there! We knocked on the door and tried calling out whoever was on the other side, but... Hmm. There's no response. This is going nowhere. Guess we should give up for now, check on it later. Yeah, you're right. Well, we can guess who's in there. Unless he's gone all the way back to his hut. I haven't really learned everybody's How'd names yet. The old building circuit breaker should be inside this office. Yeah, it might be related to the blackout. It's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. Alright. Another icon unit. 
Didn't have a Shuma. Uh, I've Why, been the found. Why the hell are they wearing seashell bikinis? That's just wrong. Oh, circuit breaker. There it is. That must be this old building's circuit breaker. Blackout probably happened because of this. I see. Doesn't look like someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. It's pretty high up. Even if you use a step ladder, you wouldn't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. During the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but... You're right. Even with a step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. I mean, someone must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? Ta-da! I did it! Whoa! Okay. Actually... You idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way... I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. How did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reached the circuit breaker... <laughs> my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be fooled! L liar! It's true! I'm serious! Wanna see? Wanna see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? Nope. It's gross. It's grotesque. <laughs> Just imagining it makes me wanna puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So cool! Still, don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. I see. So he's the one who reset the breaker. In that case, I'm convinced there's no way we'd be able to reach that. So how did the killer trip it? They didn't trip it or set it to be tripped. As I say, they overloaded it. The aircon, the irons, I'm willing to bet almost everything in the kitchen. You know, it takes work, but it's not that difficult to trip a circuit breaker if you're uh, trying to do it. You know, we had great trouble with ours a little while ago. You know, because there was a dodgy wire somewhere that uh, had just decided it was uh, gonna give up. And that was enough to keep tripping the breaker. Alright. This remote control is for all the office's air conditioner. Huh? And it's set to 11.30pm. Wasn't the timer and the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? That can't be a coincidence, right? Yes, what we're looking at here is someone who knew there was going to be a blackout because they'd rigged everything so that uh, it would go off, trigger it. They'd prepped by placing a knife with some glow-in-the-dark paint on it underneath one of the tables so they could find it. Bayakua, for reasons of his own, had put night vision goggles as part of his emergency uh, kit. When the blackout occurred, he, got, he put the case down, he opened it up, he got those night vision goggles out and put them on. And in doing so, he saw someone acting strange. He went over to them, and before he had a chance to say much more than what the hell is going on here, stabby, stabby, stabby. Hmm. It's a working theory, and it makes sense. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us any damn clue who the person was. What did you see in here? <laughs> I can already tell. You doubt me, correct? No, you were in here. Huh? However, it does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred, and during that time, Bayaka was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in this office. Naturally, I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait! Supposed to be? Does that mean... I see. You weren't in the office. But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker? And the case with all the weapons in it? Huh? Where'd you run off to on your own? Well... She was in the bathroom, which is why, uh, what's-his-name couldn't get in. <coughs> Peko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. What happened? <coughs> no. <coughs> I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but... Uh, excuse me! What the heck?! What was that? Hey. It appears the bathroom inside the old building is currently occupied, so I recommend either the hotel lobby or your cottage. Huh? 
Seems like it will be a tough path. Food poisoning. That sounds sus- you know, She's suddenly having issues. That sounds like food poisoning. With a cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pekka wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pekka as it is. What does that mean? Huh? I mean, is it cool? She didn't, like, run away or something? That's right! Because if she ran away, she's obviously the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? No, it sounds to me like she has a case of, uh... Well, what we can uh, affectionately refer to as the taco shits. This is the desk the staff use for busy work. Nothing in particular that catches my eye. Case still locked. This duralinium case. Should contain all the dangerous items that Fayako had collected. Hey. Maybe we should check inside, just to be safe. But it's locked. Yep. Rako had the key to this case with him. I brought it with me, so there's no need to worry. It's okay to take that key without permission. Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. He does not feel any remorse. See? It's open. Forks, knives, iron skewers, various tools are all crammed inside. It's not possible the killer took anything from here. The key to the case was inside the case Biakwa I had with him. Guess you're right about that. Maybe... Hey, is Pekka the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Bro... Well, she wandered off somewhere, even though she was, she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Biakwa after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but... When I got there, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loudly or else Miss Sonya will yell at me. Hmm. Pekka's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Bayakua. Hey! And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too? Like an assassin, right? It's not like you look any better. Okay. Now then. Guess we're done with the office, don't you think so? We should get going now. Yeah. Yep. Looks like we're pretty much finished looking around the old building. Hey. How about we check out Byakuwa's cottage? Byakuwa's cottage? Yep. Might be clues there. Be good to check it out just in case. I was scared I might encounter some danger if I went there by myself. I don't mind going the together, but aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be that danger? Hey. You mean, am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> To be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like, instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Don't talk like that. We're doing this so we can live, you know? I see. As I thought, you sure are strong. You're definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope's Peak Academy. All right! And let's get going to Bayakua's Cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Hey, what are you doing? Is he still trying to get his bloody earring back? What am I doing, you say? Ha! Now that is truly a foolish question! I love you so much, dude. Um, we're just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. Under the floor? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder, I think. Possibly. So I thought it was important to check it. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Think about it. Hey. The carpet I laid didn't reach the table where we found Barakwa. <sighs> ah, mm, yeah, mm. possible. Unlikely, though. He'd have to already be on the ground. So I'm considering the possibility that somebody basically stabbed up through the floorboards and stabbed him like that. But he'd have to be already lying on the ground, face first, like that. That'd have most likely mean a two-person job, which. Unlikely. We know how this game works, you know. Second, the, uh, it has to be the person who does the murdering. 
Out of curiosity, what happens if two people work together and both stab the victim at close enough to the same time that you can't tell which of them got in the killing blow? Do they both, uh... Hmm. Anywho. Hmm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. It's possible the killer killed by Aqua by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Yep. That's what I thought. So I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well, hmm. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from outside. The building's surrounded by firm fences. There's no way to sneak under the floor from there. What? Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Wow. No, that's not possible. Are you sure? Anyway, it seems you can't get under the floor from outside the building. That's a relief. Why? Because <laughs> if you could get under the floor from outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and doesn't have an alibi. Yeah, for your Hiko. So... I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it is possible to get under the floor from outside. Well... Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance... For Yahiko came here. He did. Huh? What happened for Yahiko? Huh? What are you doing here? All alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no. Not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. You want to come into the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Uh, uh, of course not! I was just going for a damn walk! What? Do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> then leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just left. Okay, so that happened, but why did he come here? See? He probably wants to be a part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey! He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? You can't see the withering look I'm giving you, dear, but yeah. When did we start talking about video games? Life is a video game. Shaki's account has been out for truth. I see. So even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief. I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but... We have no idea who the killer is. <laughs> well, I guess for now we should stick to the plan and head over to Biakwa's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. I will most assuredly reclaim the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands. Seems he has no intention of investigating. I'm going to be really upset if he's the murderer. Because I don't want him to leave the uh, plot just yet. Hey dude, we got a dead body. Ah. Where were you? What the hell? Didn't I tell you to leave me alone? That's not happening. Didn't you hear Monokuma's announcement? <laughs> of course I did. Apparently Byaku was the one who got killed. <laughs> so what? What did you say? Do you think I'm the killer? Think whatever you want, I'm used to being mistrusted. That's not why I'm... Whatever, just tell me what you were doing while everyone else was at the party. Huh? Checking my alibi, huh? <laughs> well, I don't have one. So chilling in my cottage by myself during that time. The whole time? Because Chucky said she saw you in front of the old building. Shut up! <sighs> Nosy bitch. Jeez! Look, it's true, I went for a walk and then I ended up passing by the old build. Just, just by chance. Were you really going for a walk? Don't tell me you're actually trying to join the party. Don't fuck with me! Why the hell would I want to do that? It's a coincidence, a coincidence! Alright, alright, I get it. <laughs> Dumbass. Hmm. Okay. We are going on here. And. Yeah. Here we go. And it's locked. It's locked. Hey! I guess we need to ask him for help. And so Nagido took a deep breath. Hey! Monokuma! Did you call me? N Nagato, when did you train Monokuma? Hey. Monokuma, 
I was wondering if you could do us a favour. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Hey, who are you talking to? That's just my after image. <laughs> when I get serious, my after image is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. Oh, it'd be boring to play alone. Look, I don't have time for this. Just open Bayakua's college already. Well... This is for the class trial. Something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial? This is troubling! Well, if it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. Ba -ba -ba loose! I'll leave the rest to you! See, I've unlocked the door. Now you can investigate to your heart's content. Why does it open with a magic spell? Jeez. It's probably powered by electricity. Look, at any rate, that performance was a waste of time. Yeah, we should just go inside there. You're right. Alright. Oh, another hidden monocum right there. No. Seriously, why are they wearing seashell bikinis? It's creepy. Stop bed. It's bed. Nothing about it really catches my eye. Looks like the room's interior design isn't that different than mine. There's not much to worry about here. Hello. There's an envelope on the table. It's a letter. Someone sent to the aqua. That's weird. There's no sender. That looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check out what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see. Be careful. The first kill will some will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Th this is... This is... Crime warning. If it says be careful, it's probably a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe. Hey. This is why Piyako suddenly decided to throw a party. Hmm? First kill will happen tonight. Because someone made this threat to Piyakua. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, no one would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this letter? But... He couldn't ignore the possibility of it happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Piyakua kept saying? How he wouldn't let anyone become a victim. He couldn't overlook that slim possibility. Just to keep his promise. Then why did he keep it a secret if he just told us? Nope. He couldn't. He probably thought that that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Hmm. If everyone knew what was in the letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would have likely begun to doubt each other, and at that point there'd be no turning back. So he tried to do something about it all by himself, without telling anyone. Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byaku with this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No. No, this could be a prank. It might have nothing to do with his death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be a killer. But we've come all the way here and it's the only thing I can think of. Whoever wrote this letter made it very aqua. If that's the case, then... That person completely predicted how Byaku would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakwa. Killed him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. There's probably not much time left until the trial starts. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked Mahuri for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, I wanted to find out where everybody was standing just before the blackout. She's probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? Sorry. That's all you. Huh? I need some time alone. I'd like some time to collect my thoughts. Alright, I understand. Hey! If you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of our autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now! I'll see you later. He was pretty pale. I wonder if he's okay. But now's not the time for him we would worry about Nagato. There isn't much time left. I'd better hurry over to the old building. Yeah. Hmm. 
So yes, I'm fairly confident I know what happened, but I'm not sure why and who yet. Hmm. Either way, that's a good point to end this part, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.